Howdy folks! In this video, we'll break down the NextGen-T FSNA and FSMP certifications, and also look at how they compare with and complement the CCNA and CCMP certifications from Cisco Systems. Now, before we start, I'd like to break the ice by noting that our certifications here at NextGen-T such as the FSNA and FSNP, are not a competing certification to the Cisco CCNA and CCMP. Rather, they are complementary. In fact, in order to obtain your FSNA or FSNP, you will need to understand Cisco IOS, as that is what all of the labs are built with. In addition, our full stack network engineer program includes the CCNA certification, along with the FSNA and FSNP certifications. All right. Now I'll break down how these certifications compare so you can get a better understanding of our certs here at NextGen-T. And let's start with the CCNA. The Cisco Certified Network Associate is an entry-level or associate-level certification in which the candidate must pass a computer-based testing exam around entry-level networking concepts and Cisco IOS. This exam tests the candidate's knowledge and skills related to network fundamentals, network access, IP connectivity, IP services, security fundamentals, and automation and programmability. The CCNA is one of the strongest entry-level or associate-level certifications in the industry. However, the exam is primarily based on knowledge and answering multiple choice questions. While there are some lab simulations that are presented in the exam, neither the CCNA nor any CCMP exam will require the candidate to actually build out a complete network of any kind. Now, this is where we can start to see the additional value from our certifications here at NextGen-T. Our FSNA and FSNP certifications require the student to actually build out networks and even troubleshoot them in reality-based lab environments to achieve the certification. For example, the Full Stack Network Associate FSNA certification requires the student to build out a small office LAN supporting the basic types of services you would see in the real world. The FSNA lab includes basic routing, switching, voice over IP, wireless, and network security configurations. The student must connect and configure all the devices required to support these services. The student's skills are confirmed via our skills qualification process where the student's labs are all checked and graded by NextGen-T instructors. The FSNA can be achieved through our full stack network engineer basic training program. All right, that's the FSNA. Now on to the Full Stack Network Professional Certification. The FSMP certification is achieved through our Full Stack Network Engineer Advanced Training Program and is much more robust than the FSNA. To achieve the FSMP, students must first complete three reality-based projects where their skills will be honed in preparation for the FSNP Skills Qualification Check. So just what are these three projects? The first project is the Full Stack Network Deployment where the student builds out a three-site network with a headquarters and two branch offices. This robust project will take the student approximately 75 hours to complete. The next project adds on an SSL remote access VPN solution. And in the third and final project, the student must build out a co-located data center network that complements the primary network with redundancy and failover services. These are all very robust skills to have in the enterprise. Now, the student must plan, design, implement, support, and close out all of these projects. The time it takes to complete all three projects is around 115 hours. The student will also create network diagrams and present their project solution, all as part of the FSNP certification process. So the goal here is to have the student learn project-based knowledge and skills, and also general soft skills in addition to their technical skills. Then, the student must prove their technical skills in a reality-based lab environment that is checked by NextGen-T instructors. In addition to the robust technical skills that are learned, FSMP candidates also learn troubleshooting and must solve troubleshooting tickets as part of the skills qualification process. Now, as you can likely imagine, this creates a well-rounded student who will be very prepared to hit the ground running in enterprise networking jobs. And, as you can see, the NextGen-T FSNA and FSMP certifications 
are extremely complementary to Cisco's CCNA and CCMP certifications. However, they take a completely different approach with project-based learning, real-world network build-outs, project deployments, and real-world troubleshooting. All right, folks, there you have it. You should now have a great understanding of how the NextGen T FSNA and FSMP certifications are achieved and how they are a complement to the Cisco CCNA and CCMP. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you all for viewing. And oh yeah, one more thing. Do you know what time it is? Well, I sure do. It's time to level up and become a rock star engineer. Jacob Hess here. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I'd also like to remind you, if you're truly serious about your career in information technology, be sure to check out our IT engineer training programs at www.zerotoengineer.com.